Hi, this is Art Tips with Jesse. If you don't give yourself a hard time, you're okay with practicing, um, you don't feel like every painting has to be finished, then um, you're all set. <laughs> but for everybody else, um, it, it can be really hard to just give yourself the, um, the time and the flexibility to practice and to experiment and have fun and um, do work that you're not intending to finish. And this is something that is seems really strange and it seems like it's unique to the artist community that so many people feel like they're driven to make art, but that they, um, if, if they put their paintbrush down the first time and something amazing doesn't happen, that they maybe don't have talent. Or that if they're painting along and one of their paintings comes out um, and they hate it, that that says something bad about their value as an artist or their skills and that just couldn't be further from the truth so the the answer is to just realize that um, if your favorite painter has been painting for 50 years and they still throw away some of their paintings then you should give yourself that same grace and know that it's okay to have some paintings that you love and some paintings that you don't and um and that is a sign that you're growing besides just the mindset and the letting yourself giving yourself permission to practice and play around and not expect everything to be um, something you're excitable, excited about. But also the materials can be a big um, roadblock to practice. If you like painting, then um, a lot of times having wrapped canvas that takes up three quarters of an inch of depth and might be, you know, any amount of size. Um, thinking about practicing on that and then, um, you know, the money that went into the canvas and where you're going to store it can make it hard to want to practice. And so I recommend getting something that is plentiful and inexpensive to practice on. So you can get the mounted canvas that's just wrapped around one eighth inch board for um, really cheap for a large bulk of it, a whole bunch of them. And that is easy to stack. It's, um, it's painless to throw away. There's a chance it'll warp, but as far as giving yourself permission to practice, that is a great way to do it. Um, Personally, I use loose canvas and I paint on that and, um, and that st stacks up really well, but it takes a lot of time if I get something that I love to mount it later on. So um, that's, that's the drawback, but the positive side is that I can practice a ton and not feel like um, any obligation for each piece to feel like a finished um, painting. So I hope you find that helpful and happy painting.